August was the warmest of the summer months so far, although unsettled conditions were experienced across the country. The beginning of the month saw some warm days, especially in the southeast, but the heat was short-lived, with more unsettled conditions and cooler temperatures towards the end of the month. Let's now take a more detailed look at the weather throughout the month. The 1st to the 6th saw an area of low pressure located to the west of the UK, which brought rather cool, showery conditions. Some showers were heavy and thundery, with 38.2mm recorded at Bradford on the 5th. Scotland saw warmer conditions, with a temperature of 22.8 Celsius recorded at Aknagart. As the low pressure moved away across the North Sea, high pressure built in across the UK to become centred over the country on the 9th and 10th. Low cloud, fog and mist formed on the night of the 8th, clearing during the morning of the 9th to leave a dry, warm and sunny day. Temperatures rose to above 25 Celsius across much of the south and east, with 27.8 Celsius recorded at St James's Park. Warmer conditions were experienced across the country, with a temperature of 25.9 Celsius recorded at Estelmere in Scotland. It remained fine and dry until the 12th, when more generally unsettled conditions moved in with a low-pressure system bringing bands of rain, heavy showers and some thunderstorms. The 15th was wet across many western, central and northern areas with over 15mm in many places and 29.2mm recorded in Weymouth. Wales saw a rather warm day on the 17th, but with heavy rain at times and strong southwesterly winds. Many places saw in excess of 20mm of rain and 36.2mm fell at Capelcurig. Over the weekend of the 18th and 19th, the South East and East Anglia avoided the cloud and showers in some parts, and in a southerly flow, temperatures rose to around 30 Celsius. A top temperature of 32.4 Celsius was recorded at Cavendish in Suffolk on the 18th. Towards the end of the month, the South East saw the best of the weather, with fine and dry days, while elsewhere conditions were more unsettled. The 27th saw unseasonably strong winds for Scotland, with 64 miles an hour recorded at South Uist. Some more prolonged rain spread eastwards across the UK on the 29th. Large totals were recorded, including 42.6mm in 24 hours at St Bees Head in Cumbria. Pressure then rose and the night of the 30th and 31st was clear and particularly cold, with record low minima for August at many stations. Minus 2.5 Celsius was recorded at Cromdale in the Highlands. You can find more information about climate summaries on the Met Office website. <laughs>